everybody, this is Praxis, and it's another dry day outside, so we've moved back outside. Amber's over here sealing some more boards. We're giving them two passes. She's starting with some uh, first passes on those boards, and I've been here for a few hours this morning. I've gotten a, a bunch of boards done, uh, both in the greenhouse on the west side and also a few over here. And I want to do this video to highlight uh, another technique for closing these gaps between the boards. Now, I mentioned that I've been using a clamp, which that's eh, somewhere around here. You, you know, recall I was using a clamp. I'd, I'd screw a board down here and uh, hook one end of the clamp onto the board and then the other end of the clamp on here and then clamp it down and bring it in. That's, uh, you know, it takes a little extra time. There is a way of doing it that is a little easier, uh, a little faster, and I'm gonna show you that way right now. Uh, I've got all these nails, uh, not nails at all, screws uh, stuck in here. And uh, there's one uh, seated at the bottom, one seated up at the top, and all the rest are waiting to go in. So you can see the board's kind of floppy. And one of them is at an angle, and that's critical for the technique that I'm gonna be using right now. Uh, the idea is, is uh, when I screw that one in, I'm going to pull the board away a little bit. So uh, the screw's uh, insertion point at, uh, into the strapping is going to be to the left of where the, uh, the exit point of the screw is in this board here. And what that's going to do is it's going to kind of uh, you know, pull the board to the left as it goes down. Uh, and that works just by me lifting the board up slightly as I do it. So I'm going to pull the board away a little bit, and again, the screw is at an angle. So I'm pulling the board away. Okay, and I'm feeling it going into the other board, so now I'm just going to have it go down. There you go. And you can see it really reduced that, that gap there. Now I can just take these other screws and set those in to uh, lock in my, uh, uh, my gains there. So, we're just continuing across here. It was cold this morning. We just have, it's just gonna get colder and colder as we go. Uh, the goal here, as I've stated before, is to get the entire outside of the house finished and then we can finish um, on the inside, you know, once it's, you know, cold outside and the outside is at least finished. Uh, the upstairs floor is uh, completed in terms of stain. It is gorgeous. I'll show you that as soon as I can. Uh, that second coat of uh, golden oak uh, finish that we put on there really came out beautifully. And, uh, you know, like I said, I'll show you that next time we're inside on a rainy day. But at the moment, we've got three, at least three, I think, sunny days. And we're going to use them outside. That's it. Thanks for watching.